Hello my dear students of grade 8. Today we are taking the fourth lecture of our program, Unit 2, E-Communication. Reading, exercise 2, page 14. P means page. Laura loves all kinds of new technology. David does not. Read the opinions, which are Laura's and which are David's. Number 1. Although I've got an iPad, I still prefer the feel of a real book. This is for David. Number two. Having access to the internet means that you can look things up easily when you are doing your homework. Number three. I don't think it's fair to download music for free. I like CDs. Number four. I've got an app for learning Spanish. It's really useful. Number five, when I'm meeting someone, I always take my mobile with me so that I can call them if I'm running late. Number six, it's so easy to keep in touch with your friends now through social networking. Number seven, lots of my friends have blogs. Where do they find time to write them? Number eight, some people I know would not go on holiday to a place without Wi-Fi. I think it's great to be somewhere with no Wi-Fi and where there is no mobile signal. Number nine, <clears throat> there is so much music you can download. It's much easier than buying CDs. Number ten and the last one, why do people have to chat for so long on mobile phones when they are on a train or a bus? Use of English, to, in order to, so that, and so on. To express purpose, use these phrases. Positive. I went to the shop. In order to have a look of the latest smartphones. This is formal. To have a look of the latest smartphones. So that I could have a look of the latest smartphones. Those three expressions give the same meaning, but the first one is the formal one. In negative, I've switched my phone to silent in order not to disturb you. This is in negative. We, put, we just put not before to, and this is the formal one. As, uh, sorry, so as not to disturb you, so that it does not disturb you. Those are the same, give the same meaning, but the first one in order not to is the formal one. Homework, exercise 5, page 15. And in your workbook, you have exercise 2, page 11. Remember always, P means page. Complete the sentences with the correct preposition. For, twice, from, in, on, up, with, twice. Number one, when we are doing a project, we look up a lot of things. Gap, the internet. Number two, I don't think it's fair to musicians to download the music. Gap, the internet. Gap, free. Number three, can you recommend an app? Gap, learning to read the music. Number four, I always take mobi my mobile phone, Gap, me, when I go out. Number five and the last one. It's easy to keep Gap, touch, Gap, friends using Skype and email. Exercises 3, page 11, also in your workbooks. Exercise 4, page 11, also in your workbooks. There is another homework, writing. Are you like Laura or David from exercise 2 on page 14 in the course book? How? Thank you very much. We come to the end of our lecture. Thanks for watching this lecture. That was Mr. Haidal Kasi with you. And please, before we finish, do not forget to do your homework tomorrow. Thank you.